Hi everyone, today we're going to do a brief overview of the reporting section inside of Search Ring. Let's get into it. So the first call out I want to make is that we have this calendar here in the upper right hand corner. We have some set date ranges that we can take a peek at as well as the ability to plug in a custom date range. Uh, something to note here is as far back as you have Google Analytics data, we can take a look at that. And then of course, when you do push live a search spring, we'll also be compiling some of that information as well. So the first report I do wanna go over is the Search Insights report here. This is just gonna let us know what queries have been the most popular searches on your site and then give us some great data points to kind of make some decisions on what campaigns we wanna create for specific queries or if we wanna edit a campaign. The next one is Google Analytics Insights. This is gonna give us some percentages on how uh, site search is performing on your site. We're gonna get some ideas of conversion rate uh, as well as revenue, the percent of shoppers that are visiting your site that are using search. So this is again, a great report to take a peek at just to get a gauge on how search is performing. Similar to Search Insights, we do have category pages as well. It's just gonna compile all the different categories on your site and then give us some data points to take a look at as well. Jumping down to the basic reports here, the main ones to call out are, again, searches very similar to the Search Insights report, except it's going to basically break down with stemmed terms. That really just means if I'm looking at dress, dresses is a stemmed term of that. Again, you'll see down here shoes with an S, so it's plural versus shoe. So these are all the different STEM terms and you can also directly merchandise from here. Another great report to take a peek at frequently is the zero result searches report. This is gonna let us know what queries are taking your shoppers to a zero result page. And we typically solve those by creating a synonym, a redirect, or maybe it's just a product that you don't carry. You can see here that it's gonna give us a breakdown of what that specific query is, the total amount of searches that have occurred in the date range we have set, and then you can do an action from here, which is directly creating a synonym. Some other reports in the basic report section, filters. This is gonna let us know the behavior of your shoppers and how they are interacting with your filters, which ones have been selected the most. And then also you can go a little step further here and look at the value breakdown of those individual values that your customers are selecting. Another great report, if you are leveraging product recommendations, this is just going to let us know what profiles you have, as well as taking a look at conversion rate, transactions, as well as click-through rate, all that good stuff there. As you can see, we've got a few different points of data that we'd be taking a look at here. And the last call out is experiments here. If we are running any sort of experiment, as an A-B test, then we will have all those past campaigns that we have run and experiments we have run, as well as the active ones here. In here, we can take a look at the results for what we saw. So if I wanna jump in here, I can see this was a 50-50 split. You can also take a look at views, transactions, and ultimately conversion rate. And this really helps us decide which variation we wanna go for. That is pretty much the main call outs for the reporting section here. There are a few other reports you can take a peek at, um, but overall, the ones that I showed you all are the ones that we definitely take a look at frequently. If you have any other questions, please feel free to reach out to your customer success manager and they'll be happy to walk through these things further with you.